This playthrough is rated M for Mature. You know, after seeing a quaint little village of that people try to eat me and worship some type of lord of hell, whatever he calls himself, I think it's time for me to change the scenery. Time to go to the big city. Nothing bad could happen there, right? Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode of Shadow Hearts. In the last episode, we went through Xiaoyang Village, found out that they were Campbell's, tried to catch a cat lady, and then defeat a lord of hell. All before breakfast, too. So it's time to head on out uh, and uh, see what else we can do and find take Alice somewhere. I don't know what we're doing with her, so we had to protect her. So a fetid stench fills the air. The bottom flickers faintly. Yeah, I thought you could check it, but anyway. Yeah, with uh, Zhu Jin, we were able to survive that. Uh, before we leave this town, let's uh, make sure that he is not wearing our special bandana. Be gone from you. Uh, and also, during that fight, we did get a new uh, accessory. Let me pull that up. I think we'll put that on Yuri, I think. Uh, let's see. Um, the star brooch. It's a defensive item and a, a basically special defense and or spirit defense, physical defense goes up by one. And it allows you to escape even with berserk allies. Berserk allies basically means you can't control them, so they'll do random effects or random things. But if you have this on, you can still escape with berserk allies, so you have a chance of leaving so you're not like screwed. Um, not that you need it anyway, but so actually maybe Actually, we'll give it to her because I want to give her physical defense up as much as I can um, And then we'll give you the bandana uh, Okay, no reason. I mean Zhu gonna be with us the whole time uh, what, what would you think otherwise? Oh, hey, there's the peddler there. So hey, dude The village is more peaceful now. What you defeat the monsters and broke the seal? Oh, is that so? That's good to hear. Now it's possible to leave the village. Allow me to show you my gratitude. This might come in handy in the future. Please take it. You received the guild card. What is that? Well, let's take a look. It'd be under valuables, actually. Oh yeah, right. went over. The talisman pendant. Ah, I never went over the sluice gate handle. It shows. Yeah, it shows a picture. It's similar to Kudelka, where they would have like a description and show what it, like it actually looked like. Nice little attention to detail. Once a part of the sluice gate is now completely rusted over. After the locals were killed in war, the gate was left unattended for ages. Then the next one is the anti-cat powder that we got from Zhu Zhen. This incredibly foul-smelling medicine contains catnip. It smells foul, but is a sure cure for cat troubles. Then we got the torch. Uh, dried twigs that have been bundled together for easy use. Useful as an outdoor light source. A metal bowl. Measuring bowl used by the pathologist in Xiaoyang Village. Bits of putrid, rotten flesh cling to the bottom. Ugh. And the snake card, which is the guild card we got from that one dude. Card from the Wholesale Items Guild, WIG wig gives various benefits but if you lose on a discount five times in a row with insufficient funds it becomes inactive yeah keep that in mind so uh, let's see yeah yeah so thanks for everything yeah he says the village is quiet yeah because everyone's dead or gone you know so just just saying so i wonder if there were any other things we could have checked uh, other than the obvious stuff hmm. oh well not a big deal most of it's just minor descriptions nothing like really crazy i'll try to remember to check everything if i can but anyway let's Leave this place. It sure is a dead around here. This is terrible for business. Well, I'm off. Hope to see you again sometime. Yeah, so long. Now, goodbye, acupuncturist. Why do I feel like we're going to see you again? And not into the too distant future. He does do great work, you know. But who'd want to be touched by him? Uh, yeah, I'll. What, I will show you what his acupuncture actually does. But let's just say, it's comical and creepy at the same time. Is he a nice man? Yeah, you say that, Alice, because when you get acupuncture from him, he doesn't harass you. I'm sure he's perfectly safe for you, Missy. Yeah, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. For those who don't know, not gonna say it out loud. Just, just, just pointing it out. All right. Anyway, sorry, I was checking something. Well, so long, kids. So long, Missy. I need to return to my employer, so we go our separate ways here. Well then, see ya. We'll probably never meet again, but I hope your business doesn't fail, Pops. Never meet again. He has a unique portrait and everything. We'll never see each other again. Nope. Thanks for all your help. Take care of yourself. Oh, by the way, one last thing I should tell you. You two meeting up, then me, and then the events in this village. Somehow I can't help feeling like all this is connected by a single thread that somebody has spun. 
And if it is, it means we'll be meeting again somewhere. <laughs> well, until then, take care. That was ominous. Yeah, it's probably not. And what's with that strange music? What a strange fellow he is. He seems to know so much about everything, too. Shoot, if only he was more generous about teaching me his secrets, the jerk. What secrets? Is Yin Yang stuff or? Hee <laughs> hee. Well, if we're going to be seeing him again, we can ask him then. That's true. A single thread spun by somebody, huh? Yeah, it's the whole red red string of destiny or whatever that Eastern culture has. Now that's interesting. Let's pull that string for all it's worth. Yeah, if you don't know what he's taught, like you're not aware of what that is, like that's just like random. It's like what the heck? Anyway, it's time to head on to Feng Xian, uh, Feng Tian or Feng Xian, whatever. Anyway, pre be prepared to be exposited and find out what's going on behind the scenes. Sight this is. You there, what were they escorting anyway? A man eating tiger? No, ma'am. Alice Elliot, Caucasian female, approximately 20 years old. She's 20? Why do I doubt that highly? Then again, you know, the press X to doubt in a, in a JRPG, but hey, maybe, maybe that's true. Yes, that's how I recall her as well. However, I don't see a body here that the description. I assume the girl killed all these men. Uh, I never imagined a human being could kill like this. It's horrible. Major Suji, after your exploits in Qingshan, did you ever suspect you capture a monster? If soldiers of the Imperial Army can't bring in one little girl, they don't deserve to live. I was so looking forward to bringing a worthy souvenir back to Tokyo for father, but a waste. Lieutenant Colonel! Lieutenant Colonel Kawashima! We have a witness! An elderly peddler says a suspicious looking man passed her in the aisle. So for the anti-Japanese movement, perhaps? No, ma'am. It seems he was a Western gentleman. Dot, dot, dot. There was another man as well. Another one, you say? Yes, ma'am. A wary youth. He seemed to be following the first man. Apparently, they both headed off in the direction of the salon car. Does this mean he had help? A foreign gentleman and a youth? A strange combination. What are your orders, ma'am? Take care of the bodies. Have them sent to the capital. I recall the Major saying a six-year-old granddaughter couldn't wait for Grandpa to come home. The girl will surely shed tears of joy when she finds out he's returning earlier than expected. Yes, ma'am. Please, troops in Feng Xian and surrounding cities. <laughs> we must use this chance to crush all the vile little termites that have infested our utopia. Yes, ma'am. This is getting interesting, just as I suspected. It seems the girl possesses incredible power. Now I see why the, that wizened old demon in Shanghai was so hell-bent. <laughs> Beware, old man. As the hawk in flight snatches its prey away from the wolf on the ground, I need to have that girl. Whoa, dude. Man, Alice, everyone wants a piece of Alice, apparently. And you're probably wondering, what is this going on? Like, like this whole Japanese, anti-Japanese thing? This is when Japan invaded, or uh, uh, was occupying China uh, before World War, uh, well, I mean, before World War II, during World War II, that type of situation. So this is when the game takes place, for those who are curious. My, my, this is quite an anomaly. <laughs> Perhaps I'm getting rusty. Have I somehow summoned you here by mistake? It's been 15 years, Roger Bacon. Oh, it has been some time, hasn't it? I'm pleased to see you looking so well, oh great magician. Master do high, follow rule of nine heavens, a sage. Yeah, I decided to change Bacon's voice because I gave the other voice to Zhu Jin. I see you're still wearing that pasted on smile. You have too much time on your hands, you infectious plague. What brings you to Shanghai? Surely not to simply pay me a visit. <laughs> no, say nothing. I already know. Indeed, I found myself at a loss in this strange land, and I'm afraid I made a slight blunder. An unforeseen meddler has entered the game, and my little bird is still outside the cage. 
<laughs> I would like you to make excuses. You need not apologize for going behind my back and abducting the girl. Indeed, I suspected you would. Come now, there's no need to be so severe. I was merely indulging myself in a small disappointment. With your grand ceremony drawing near, you needn't deal with the minor trifles. I'm not only the hand. Ha! Huh, you jest. Are you telling me that you would have delivered me the girl upon her capture? Why, of course. The progress of your secret ceremony is of great interest to me, Master Duhai. If this girl called Alice truly is the key to the ritual, I will do everything within my power to help. A sliled fox you are. The Devon Septagra, so in fact preparations for your Demon's Gate invocation are almost complete. I've taken the liberty of sealing up the Protector of the North, the Black Tortoise of Zhao Yang Village. So that's where it went. It would have stood in the way of the rituals, but that no longer matters. The spirit machine of Kuhai Tower is finally operational. I can now focus entirely on finding the girl. Well, well, I look forward to seeing the Great Sage himself in action. So then, have you discovered the girl's whereabouts? Of course, I have eyes everywhere on the continent. <laughs> Very well, I'll tell you. She's in Feng Shan. Feng Shan? Hasn't the Japanese army set up operations there? Hmm. I can't imagine how they caught wind of it, but it seems they lie in wait for the girl as well. <laughs> we have nothing to fear from them. The Japanese army is in disarray and staffed with morons. They present little threats, save for a bothersome fly named Kawashima that's been snooping about. The girl is already mine. <laughs> Looks like a lot of people want to taste that sweet, Alice. Creepy. Splendid. I'll be up to Feng Xiong, then. Please, don't concern yourself with me. I haven't any intention of getting you in the way, good sage. I'd simply like to observe your technique from afar. For future reference, you see. Fair one, then. Do as, do as you please. Ah, oh, yes, I nearly forgot. There's a rather odd fellow accompanying the girl. Even stranger, he's a harmonic, sir. Master of fusion. What? Fusion? Are you absolutely certain? I'm afraid so. You yourself have substantially a blood connection to the harmonic, sir, do you not? I'd rather not see a repeat of the events of 15 years ago. Please be away. You wouldn't want to lose the half of your body that remains. Oh, that was uncalled for. Forgive me. <laughs> the tricky old bastard. He spies on me with impunity. Listen well, minions and Feng Shan. That fraud of a warlock is headed for your city. Do not be outwitted. I shall be most disappointed should you fail to capture a single heretic girl. I shan't allow anyone to stand in the way of the Demon's Gate, Demon's Gate invocation. Our success or failure depends entirely on that girl, Alice Elliot. Yeah, what is the importance of her anyway? Yeah, it looks like we got we got a, a Japanese police uh, army captain or something like that, and two sorcerers on her butt. Oh boy, oh boy. Ugh, morning already. At least we got a little rest. Me, 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 me. Even after all that crap that went down, she walked all night. Pretty impressive. For a girl, I mean. I think I'll let her sleep a little longer. Well, let's check out this place. What the? I don't know if that's allowed not to pick on the mic. <laughs> hmm. You're pretty cute. I guess you dumb mutt. again now what ow what is it you mutt and wait why the voice interesting anyway let's uh, check everyone out hey dog get back here I'm checking you sniff sniff huh you're pretty cute I guess you dumb mutt okay anyway let's talk to this this rather uh, interesting peddler the silent peddler who talks I 
me the silent peddler, perhaps because I seldom speak, I don't sell much. So I thought up of a new service to draw customers. I call it pedometer service. Pedometers? First of all, let me give you this. This is like in the 1930s, right? You've received the pedometer. Wear that when you walk through danger. It'll count your steps, get enough, and win a cool prize. No. I don't want it. No, no. I'll, I'll, I don't want it? No, no. I'll, I'll have it if I can. Are you selling it? I'm sorry, but I don't have any merchandise for sale at the moment. That was weird. Anyway, we get a new item in our inventory. The pedometer. So let's equip that to... Actually, do you want to... Yeah, we'll equip it to her because I don't need her to... I don't need her to have attack power. So what the pedometer does is you basically... Every time you step in areas where there's random encounters, every step you take will add a point to the counter. And depending on how many points you got, you can get something from it. So always keep it on at all times, no matter who's in your party. So keep that in mind. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, we can't equip the bandana. No. Or uh, another leather belt. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just save the leather belt for another person. But anyway, we can talk again. I'm sorry, but I don't have any merchandise for sale. Anymore. We can find him again later over the course of the game, so worry not. So. No, don't hit me, sir, please. Oh, I guess you're not Japanese, are you? I've never seen eyes that color before. Yeah, uh, that, the, this is why, like, because of like, what happened here, the Chinese have an absurd hatred for the Japanese, even today. Uh, despite that being, you know, like, how many years since they'd been pulled, uh, Japan pulled out of China? Since World War II, like, 60, 80 years, and they still hold a grudge, you know, to this day. So it's pretty intense, especially to talk to older people in uh, China, because uh, Japan was pretty cruel to the Chinese during that time, so you should read up on it. It's pretty, well, anyway. The Japanese soldiers seem pretty tense this morning. I hear that some awful criminals have escaped and are hiding out here in Feng Shan. God have mercy. Right, anyway, if we check behind the fountain here, we get a talisman of luck. Nice. All right. Let's uh, talk to... Well, that guy looks interesting, but let's hold off on that. There's a lot of Japanese folk in town now, ever since they beat the Russians. The soldiers are scary, though. Who do they think they are, anyway? Well, the occupiers, apparently. I haven't seen you around here before. Did you come to Feng Shan looking for work? Me, too. This has become an amazing city. Architects and engineers the world over on a building spree. Yeah, this looks like it's more European than, than anything, just the design of everything. So, now yeah, let's leave Alice behind. Uh oh, I can't just go off by myself. Oh, alright. Hey, one more person, we'll talk to Alice. Ah, oh. oh, do you see the hotel? It has 800 rooms, 20 dining rooms, and 1,500 bellboys. Just a day's stay there cost, goodness, a month's salary for me. You, that. That what? Hey. Hey, buddy, how about it? Want to stop in and play? Play? Play what? You don't know? It's your first time, eh? Then let me explain. That ticket you have there? It's a lottery ticket. When you have a lottery ticket, we members of the World Lottery Association let you play for lots of fabulous prizes. But we never tell anyone about the lottery unless they have a ticket. Basically, the lottery is secret. Don't worry, it's not shady. The chairman is just funny that way. That's odd. World, World Lottery Association? The way the chairman likes it? All sounds pretty fishy to me. Don't ask me any more than I've already told you. If I tell you anything more about the chairman, he'll kill me. No, it could be... Oh, well, it could be my life. Just kidding, but seriously, it could strain a beautiful friendship. <laughs> they say the proof is in the pudding. Try it once and you'll see what it's all about. What do you say? Want to play? Not right now, mainly because I want to save it before I do this, because if you don't get the prize you want, you lose the ticket, and there's only so many tickets in the game, so... We sure do look fishy, I guess, but it's just the chairman's fetish. Oops, better shut my mouth. At any rate, association members all have different prizes. Man, there's a fetish for everything these days. And there aren't all that many lottery tickets out there either. So it's wise to choose carefully whose lottery you'll play. That's right, I think you're wise. Now, you do actually want to win the prize from this guy. Well, at least I do, but one of his prizes anyway. You can win multiple prizes, and there is a reason that you might want to lose a prize on purpose, but <laughs> don't look so confused. Anyway, give it a try when you feel like it. All right, well, that's it for that. So let's wake up Alice and move on to the next area. Uh, uh. Uh, where am I? Oh, you're up. You okay? You're sweating like crazy. Have a nightmare or something? It was terrible. I was in a dark room, maybe a hospital, and there was a woman all alone crying. She, she was staring at me, and then that man, the one from the train, Bacon, appeared. It's hard to take this game seriously when they keep calling the guy Bacon. Even though it's a legit name, but... What happened to the woman? I don't 
no, it got dark all of a sudden. I couldn't see. <laughs> Don't want to get to you. It's just a dream, right? The old guy, what's his name? Bacon, right? If he shows up again, I'll make him wish he didn't. Teehee. Anyway, join the team again, so let's get out of here. Did she say anything about Tattoo the Dog? No, I guess not. Okay, well, anyway. Alright, let's uh, head on to the next area, so. And Fane's on itself. And before we make sure not to move too far, because there's a treasure chest here, you received a tent. Now, if you lose any of the stuff, um, it's not a bit. Most of the stuff that you miss is minor stuff in general. It doesn't break the game, but, you know, just be aware of, like, what what's in your general surrounding before you move on, because you can miss stuff. Unbelievable. Damn soldiers hanging about, scaring off all my customers. Hey, oh, hey, you there. We got lots of good stuff. Come on, take a look. I guess I could. Man, there's a giant manhole right there, so. What do you have to say? Got lots of good stuff. Come on, take a look. I'll do that here in a second. Can you go on further? Up. Oh. No one gets through here. We're on a full alert. Dang it. So we got no choice. We have to go into the shop. It's required for plot. Literally. Hmm? Did I hear James Bond music? Ooh. A sexy lady? What's she doing? Is she a voyeur or something like that? Or expeditionist? Or an international spy? Yep, metal wearing spy, yep. James Bond, right in the money. This is Malkovich. I placed the bomb in the South Manchurian Railway Deposit uh, Depot as scheduled. We blow up these cars and the Japanese army was stuck here for at least two months. Ha, huh, I can see the look on that Iti Kawashima's face now. Not that I know what she looks like. Milkovich, why is a pro like you always letting your personal feelings get involved? Our objective is to track the movements of the Japanese army, not cause unwanted trouble. Speaking of unwanted trouble, you didn't set any unnecessary bombs this time, right? Don't worry, only one. Milkovich! What else could I do? There are plenty of innocent people working in that depot too, you know. And the and they all have these good little lunch boxes. Anyway, all I did was set a little one at sight. See, it'll go to Bob before the big one. Everyone will come running out to see what it was, then kaboom! Dot dot dot. I don't think that plan's gonna work, dude. Look, <laughs> don't get looking at, uh, don't get into one of those moods on me. Look, I'd better finish up here, my work here. My handiwork will be in the papers again. Make sure you check out the morning editions. Okay, then bye! You're no, you're no James Bond, that's for sure. But anyway, we're at one of the shop while that's going on, so ooh, radio, an old-timey radio. We got a save spot there. Don't need to save right this second. And, uh, oh. Oh, Yuri, fancy seeing you here. Will you actually follow me, you little devil? Care for some acupuncture treatment? Well, yeah, but no. Not right now, mainly because we have a shop here. We can talk to this person. And we can talk to Alice. I love the shop. We can't waste too much time, though. Yeah, and if you talk to her again, uh, after talking to the shopkeep, uh, she'll uh, you can leave with her. Look, and we got everything from dry goods, all the supplies you'll need for a long journey. Oh, a gill card, eh? Is that a card you're holding with a crow? Uh, it's that card you're holding with a crow and sink design on it. It's called a guild card. With it, stores everywhere will allow you to get to a discount or a prize ra price raise. There are many kinds of guild cards. The one you have is a snake card. Uh, uh, yeah, you can either do a price raise, a discount, or what'll it be? You want to, obviously you want to discount if you're buying stuff, and you want to raise prices if you're selling stuff. And the reason you want to try and do this is obviously some stuff in the game is going to be a bit of, of your cost, and you can try to discount it. Usually it's better to have extra money on you just in case, um, and hopefully be near a safe spot so you can discount it. And it's basically a ring system, and you can do it uh, You can do it multiple times depending on how many guild cards you are. There, are, I think, there are five over the course of the game. I'll have to look that up again. But there's multiple cards you can get over the game, and you can get quite a bit of a discount if you get find all of them and use them all. But like they said before, if you end up going, like if you get a discount and you don't have the money to actually pay for the item after the ring goes, because as soon as you fail or whatever, you're you're forced to pay that price at that time. Um, you get a demerit. If you get five demerits, you completely permanently lose that card. So keep that in mind uh, when doing that. That's why I always wait till I get to a save spot. So now let's see what she's got for sale. Yeah, we want to buy. Uh, we want to buy a new uh, upgrade for everyone. The knuckle blade and shooting star tome, uh, made of hard black steel, used for punching and shooting star tome. So we're gonna get rid of the local Bible, and take on a superb manuscript about a fabled continent, the shooting star. And then we also want armor too. But yeah, look at that. That's uh, quite a bit of money there. So 
Um, then we got some new items. Here we got Rosewood Bracelet. We'll actually get one of those eventually, so don't buy that. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but... Um, shell Bracelet and Bone Bracelet. There is things here that do poison, but like I said, poison hasn't been that big of a deal uh, in combat because, like I said, it's only in combat. Outside of combat, you heal. It'd only be bad with a boss, and we don't have a boss immediately here that would deal with that, so don't worry about that. Uh, then we could do the... Uh, all the standard stuff here, so we'll buy all that stuff here in a moment, but uh, I want to uh, leave first before I do that, though, so. Are you ready? Uh, yep, I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, Feng Shan Radio, Japanese Army Broadcast. This is an emergency broadcast for Feng Shan Radio. The Army has issued the following report. Criminals suspected in the mass murder of... Army soldier aboard the Feng, uh, Chengshun Fengshan train butt today have disappeared into Fengshan. The ringleader is a thin Caucasian female. All suspicious persons are uh, suspicious persons are to be reported to HQ immediately. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, you saw that the shopkeeper kind of recognized it. Hey, that that broadcast just now. Don't tell me. Are you people? Honey, dear help. No, there's been a mistake. Damn it, what a bother. Let's go, Alice. Right, here goes nothing. I'm about to set I'm setting up for the bomb now. What the Anyone catch catch that that car? Ugh. Ugh. Hey now, what's with the big boom all of a sudden? Whoa, lady, I can see your it's your life. Thank God the bomb I designed to save people didn't end up killing them. Anyway, I hope you got some good looks, sonny boy. Just think of it as my apology. Uh, you know it, he's all of yours. And how are you feeling, miss? I'm, I'm alright. Yeah, you're already in a good phase at all, apparently. Shouldn't that your ears be ringing and, and your, you know, eardrums be popped? Damn it all, what was that? Look, a white woman, and there's a guy with her. They're the people for the radio. Video killed the radio star, dude. Call for reinforcements. Hurry, we gotta inform the captain. Shouldn't you go after them because you have guns and stuff? Is it because of the damage to that made it impossible to get over? I don't get that. Look, killer, maybe because they think I'm a threat because of what happened on the train. Look, killer, it's about what I expect with Kawashima's men. They're mean to it seem to be running away. Hee <laughs> hee, so you're after you, uh, they're after you too. Are they? Us? We're not bomb toting terrorists, you hear? Jeez, lady, my ears are still ringing. Oh, okay, they, I forgot they mentioned it. Don't worry, it'll clear up. Nailed it. I've got to get back out before they come back. But what are you going to do? I can't babysit, but you can come with me if you want. I think we can take care of ourselves, lady. Well, maybe not Alex, but. Okay, I'm going on ahead. See you. She's going to the sewer, huh? I guess that's the best place. My god, what's her problem? We could have been killed! Yuri, did you hear that radio broadcast? Yeah, it sounds like they blamed you for the attack on the train last night. Me? Don't worry, I'm your accomplice after all. Wait a sec, we can't stand around chatting. Let's move! Looks like we can get out through here, like that woman did. But before we do that, let's grab something over here. I got a lottery ticket. All right. Yeah, can't go this way. Now, nah, if we go that way, those damn soldiers will spot us. Okay. But anyway, weirdly enough, despite everything, yeah, we can. Oh, now nah, we go that way. Yeah, same thing. But yeah, we can go down the sewers, or we go back in the shop. Y yeah, like. Oh, and we can't go back to that one fountain area. The reason I mentioned that is because yeah, the silent peddlers here. Uh, and we can check out a service. Yeah, here's what it uh, his service is: eight thousand steps, seven thousand, so forth and so on. So keep that in mind over the course of the game. So, but uh, but yeah, we're not in a danger zone. That's why I'm at zero right now. So we can also we can also do pedometer sales as well. So you can buy multiple pedometers, but there's no reason to. Uh, you don't need to buy a pedometer if you lost or sold yours by accident or something like that. It's two thousand to buy a pedometer. So, but anyway, uh, the um, lottery guy's there. So actually, let me go ahead and save it really quick so we can see if I can do it. The lottery, this guy's lottery is actually pretty easy, but I, oh, I'm i always more off to saving my, uh, my before doing it, just in case I screw up, you know, because you never know, man. I'm not perfect on when it comes to stuff like that. And we actually do have two lottery tickets if we want to win multiple prizes from him, but I'm not going to. Uh, buildings and beer, things that make this world sweet. 
What do you say? Want to play? Sure, I'll give it a whirl. All right, here we. Uh, all right, here we go then. So yeah, there's the prizes there. So red is a jade lariat. B is a B tortoise fang. Uh, turquoise is a talisman of mercy. Green is a pure seed, and yellow, uh, white is tissues. Which you get a white if you just fail to do it in the first place. So you get a prize no matter what. Take a look at this. See how the prize list and ring both have colors. When the indicator stops at a color that matches the prize, you get that prize. The indicator will go around as many times as you want. So take your time. All right, here goes. And then what you have to do is you basically have to press the X when it's on that square. Um, so depending on its speed, it might be harder to do. So so I should have done it, but let's find out. Yep. So yeah, not too difficult. But it gets harder later on for other ones. So. Man, we get the Jade Lariat for that one. Uh, just one word of caution. Associate members all have different prizes. And there aren't all that many lottery tickets out there either. Okay, yeah, he mentions that. Now, the reason why we want that is because... Uh, it, well, one, it raises your physical defense by one, but two, it increases the width of the hit area by 20%, so make it a little bit easier to hit, so very nice. Um, we also want to, we'll also want to acupuncture from Duder there, too, um, before we head on, but we'll do that later after we buy the things. Oops, I keep accidentally hitting memory card one. I gotta clear that out. It's just a bad habit of mine, so. And then, yeah, the ladies now goes on the other side of the bar, or the other guy. Uh, the guy gets on the bar, so... I'm sorry I have to abide by my husband's wishes. I owe nothing to the Japanese army anyway. Yeah, we, they're going to still um, sell stuff to us. The guild card, you say. It's that card you got with the crown of snake design. Oh, it just makes it sell. Uh, discount? Choose a discount once you try a ring challenge and hope you're getting a prize discount. If you successfully complete the ring, the shop will give you a discount. If you run out of money and keep losing on the ring, the card loses its power, so be careful. So yeah, I that's why you want to save before doing this, so... Choose price raises, let you try to ring challenge your hopes of getting a price uh, raise on good sale goods. If you're successful with the ring, the shop will buy your goods for a special rate. How's that sound? Okay, so before we call it an episode, let's see if we can buy some stuff. Welcome, I don't care if you are, I don't care if you're a future. If you got the money, I got the items. Now then, what would you like? Now, I'm surprised they would listen to them just because, yeah, see the guild card there? We can discount up to 10% or raise price 5%, so... All right, let's, uh, we have the money for it, so if we failed, it would be fine. But yeah, it even shows up there what the discount would be if you get the 10% off there. So yeah, we definitely want to do that for all of these items so we can actually afford it. So all right, let's try the... Uh, actually, might as well just buy all of them just to see. Uh, yeah, we'll just buy all of them, so... Yep. Uh, yeah, you can just straight up buy it if you just don't want to mess with it for whatever reason, like if it's just something really cheap. But I would say always try it. Um, before saving. I mean, if you really don't want to mess with it, then that's up to you, but... Alright, try to get... Yep, try to get 10% off. So. Yeah, so the early one's pretty easy, so... If you're trying to do 10%, you're gonna pretty much get it for all intents and purposes, but, you know... Although, I say that, and then I'll probably fail on one of these, so... Alright, let's uh, equip these... I probably still won't get acupuncture just because, yeah, look at the major uh, attack difference and special attack difference on that. So same with the shooting star tome. So this is why I said don't, like, um, upgrade your weapons because you're just immediately going to get new weapons. Like, right in the, and the, the, oops, and the, bonus, the benefit for buying for that to help you with the boss was, isn't really that much better, you know. Like I said, I, lost, I did lose Alice by accident, but you could easily just you know, not lose anyone during that fight, so. And all I did was use up a talisman of luck, so, which didn't really, not that costly, so. All right, I don't think I want to buy any of the random items, really. I think I'm just going to buy accessories for now, so. All right, let's uh, buy the leather vest. Leather vest, leather vest, made from real gorilla chest. All right, and then the leather skirt, you know, time, when, when you want to go to those those parties, if you know what I mean. All right. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, see, just enough money to, to afford everything. So, yeah, we're going to need this because some of the monsters in this start going up a bit. Yeah, look at the uh, uh, physical defense goes up by 10. Spirit defense, avoidance goes up a little bit. So that's not the big part. It's the big part, obviously. And this will help Alice survive a little bit longer. Could have used this in the village. And we can sell that stuff, but I'm going to just hold on to that for now. I usually sell stuff, like, right when I really need it. Really, there is actually a very specific time in the game I actually do want to sell stuff. Unless I really hard up for cash. Um, and that'll be when we actually find every single guild card in the game. Because um, then you can get some crazy... 
you can actually get there's an interesting trick to try and get really high money by the end of the game but i won't talk about that now it'll be way later in the game but looks like Feng Shan is in, in for a military lockdown. Can we escape by following the, the mysterious alluring spy through the sewers? What's her plan? And how will we get out of this mess? Looks like we're going to have to put on our galoshes for this one. But find out what happens next time in the next episode of Shadow Hearts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.